Uh, my dear friends, uh, Dr. Dhawan here, your ENT faculty, and I have got the uh, proud privilege of having Dr. Ayushi and her proud father, Dr. Bhagav, who himself is a product of SMS Jaipur. And now Ayushi, his daughter, has made the whole family proud by securing 69th rank in the most prestigious exam of the country in the PG segment. And uh, Dr. Bhagav, and to your whole family, we at Dr. Wills are really, really very happy and we congratulate the whole family. What's your emotion uh, at this moment, Dr. Bhagav, before we talk to Ayushi? Yeah, it's a proud feeling. And uh, uh, she actually uh, was working very hard and studying very hard. And uh, so once we got the rank, she got the rank. So we were feeling elated, very happy yesterday. And uh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So coming from the uh, you know family of uh, families of doctors, actually, uh, I think Ayushi's grandfather is dermatologist and uh, yeah. sir is MD medicine specialist. And now Ayushi, first of all, Ayushi, was this rank expected or it was a bit of surprise? Sir, so I secured uh, All India rank 285 in NEET PG. So I was confident that I'll secure a pretty good rank. But anyways, top 100 is unpredictable. So it was a bit of a surprise, but somewhere I expected it. It was so 285 in NEET PG is also amazing rank. And uh, it means that you have that mental within you. And uh, I think nature has blessed you. Your parents have blessed. And uh, that whole thing has now materialized to 69 rank. Uh, Aishi, if I may ask you, uh, you, you know, do you think that... Uh, becoming selective for the subject and within subject reading few topic is the strategy for the future students or they should be read you know more conceptually around the most of subject and then build up the question around study what is your take on that sir i think when you are beginning with the preparation you need to have a conceptual take about the subject you cannot be selective since the day one you initially need to be conceptual when the exam approaches just like one month and two months before, then you need to concise your notes and be selective. Once you get ideas how the question is asked and what the examiner is looking from you. What were your three most favorite subjects in uh, MBBS, in the whole curriculum, 19 subjects? Uh, so psychiatry, FMT, and medicine. Wow, that's really psychiatry, FMT, and medicine. So you're more tilted towards the medical sciences, I guess. Yes, uh, sir. Dr. Bhagav, uh, you know, Ayushi has been disciplined since the first prof, or she picked up speed in the final prof? Like, how would you so really know? Uh, actually, she has been a topper throughout her career. And right from her school days, she has been a topper. And she got the best biology student award in the 12th. Then she got selected in NEET. That was also in a top rank. And then in the first professional, second professional, and final year, so she was in the top three or three uh, top five in SMS Medical College in university, university exams. And uh, so she has been a top, topper throughout from her first standard till today. Wonderful. And uh, I can see the, I can feel the pride in your voice also. When your daughter graduates from the same medical college where you did uh, your BBS from, it's a different feeling altogether. And now she's getting ready for the prestigious so college. Even my grandfather passed from SMS Medical College. So we are actually the third generation graduating from SMS Medical College. Yes. I, I wish we could bring him into this uh, picture. I would love to keep this picture with us. So the third generation uh, doing MBBS from yeah. SMS Jaipur. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Really yeah. Good. Yeah. I think that picture you must share and please collaborate with me, Ayushi, with your grandfather. With your father and you, I would love to really, you know, this is a story really for people, you know, like, uh, I think, I'm sure you had a legacy to carry and it's a little bit of, you know, like pressure of sometimes that I need to perform because my parents, you know, are doing so well and sometimes the pressure makes us perform even better. You, I think you can relate to that because, you know, uh, yeah, there has and, no, no such pressure from my parents side. Actually, they just want me to enjoy, have a balanced approach to everything, wow. study and so there's no, no, not any pressure to just study. That's very good. Then to you a self-driven person, I must say. <laughs> Did you yes. participate in any cultural activities, sports activities, or 
any co curricular activities during medical college still? yes sir so i was the sports secretary of my medical college when i was in the final year so we organized our annual cultural fest uh, and then i use, I, I play badminton so i participate in badminton to tournaments which occur every 6 months wow i, I bowed out to you i really bowed out to you to create such a balance between the you know co curricular and the academic because people say that people who are too twisted towards academics they end up uh, losing on the co curricular but you have proved it and i think the another guy we did interview uh, just a couple of hours back another i think friend of yours only uh, from ayush uh, sms jaipur only he was also playing tennis in the evening and i think your new generation is creating lot of uh, balancing between the two things and this is what the need of the hour is because people getting glued to the devices and the ipads and all that i think they should learn from you guys come out play sports and i think that gives you more energy to study even more uh, with a lot of focus so yes sir okay great great I, Aisha, I have a question for the for the experience actually. Uh, theory, MCQs, GTs, you know, like how would you distribute your planning and the hours like that? What is your, you know, like MCQs? Sir, so initially, I was a little bit more theory focused when I was doing my first reading. So I did my notes and I annotated PYQs. but 6 month before the exam i started a new approach i used to solve mcq the first thing in the day 40 50 mcqs a different type of mcqs so this improves your guess work which is very important to just guess the answer first i used to do mcq then i did theory and then mcq so i used to alternate between so just before exam it was 60 40 60% theory 40% mcq that's a perfect planning and i think that uh, may, uh, doing mcqs give you a different insight into your same notes as you sometimes it happens you know yes. because you need you get to know that okay this is the way they are asking question like in the integrated manner and all that actually yes. uh, if i may ask you that doctorals how could uh, we contribute uh, to your journey what was your you know session with doctorals so i told you the master class of ent that was really very good so i didn't have to put any other effort to concise my ent notes it was a one stop solution then micro it is the gold standard for dr sunil pawar sir yeah dr sunil pawar sir nothing comes out from his micro notes and even it's it's very good and the rdx series which i was mentioning earlier it was very beneficial in the nsat exam thank you very much rishi uh, that's really because when i came for uh, jaipur master class so you know like everybody asking me that can you do ent in one day for the neat pg and shit level i said let me try because you know what we have to give adequate uh, time to the subject as per the proportionate distribution of the questions actually so that was i'm glad that it helped you guys and uh, we will be looking forward to conduct so many sessions like this in the future as well and uh, sonu pawar sir yes definitely microbiology you know like guru we have and uh, is notes are the gold standard and uh, uh we we did you happen to give any grant test from our side uh, could you yes sir. yes sir. i gave three to five grant test and the best thing about uh, doc tutorials grant test is that we get a video solution so after such an exhaustive grant test we don't have to read through the solutions just we get it actively from the teacher thank you very much video solution tool actually definitely is more refreshing than reading the theory again uh, yes. dr bargav you must be seeing the you know like the things have changed dramatically since the time you did md then i did md now these guys are doing md ms exams things have changed a lot actually you know yes. so how was your time sir when you were preparing for your exams and versus now i wish is time they were lot different actually we were uh, Uh, thoroughly preparing through reading books only. So we didn't have any tutorials, and nothing was there in our time. And uh, definitely MCQ uh, books were there. So we were doing that also, but uh, mainly we were reading the theory. So and that too from the books. So we didn't have any notes from any teachers in that. So the basic books uh, we read them very well, and that is how we prepared in our time. So that was way back in ninety six. 95 yes, yes, yes. things have changed a lot and the technology is now helpful for the students and we really want um, uh, dr bagav i would uh, like to share this thought with you also that uh, ayushi and every resident who are uh, joining the pg courses our endeavor is that you know they should become happy doctors you know 
residents are too much under pressure sometimes. And you know, after this much of hard work, which uh, doctor, doctor would put from right from 11, 12 standard to now, Ayushi joining the uh, medical college, I think we must create, uh, uh, you know, a little congenial environment for the doctors to stay at least, you know, happy and relax and doing a lot of co-curriculars like we Ayushi has been doing. And technology is probably helping us out of there to make the content palatable and, and interesting for the students, actually. And that's what at Doctors we keep doing. We keep innovating. We bring in new tools to the same app. And uh, we have a beautiful team, sir, of 19 uh, different faculty members from premium medical colleges. Like Dr. Uh, uh, Gayatri is there from Ames, Delhi. She is a postgraduate in Gaini from there. Uh, Dr. Rahul Rajiv is a DM Neurology. Dr. Sandeep Sharma from PGA Chandigarh. He's a pediatrician and a very, very good doctor. Dr. A uh, uh, lot of people are there who are from the premium medical colleges. Dr. Raja Mahindran is a surgery, a uh, very big name in uh, Tamil Nadu, and he is the one who is teaching surgery. So I think uh, uh, with the technology and with these kind of devices, you know, we can you know make the subject palatable for the students. Ayushi, the last question before you leave, we will leave, and I would say, any message for the juniors? You know, for example, third year listening to you right now in MBBS. And what is your advice to that third year? How to balance the life and how to cultivate themselves so that they can also aspire to get this kind of rank as you have today? Sir, I think I, I'll again repeat it. The balance is very important. So I'll advise a third year to just enjoy, chill out, but do not leave touch with the studies. So he should have a schedule to study sometime, complete his target. It doesn't mean how many hours. It depends how fast he completes his targets and then enjoy himself. He shouldn't stress about studying all the time. He should study quality, not quantity. That's what I want to say. That's what you are told a wonderful thing. Uh, you know, quality, uh, uh, not quantity. Because you know what? Someday people say, like, you know, like, can the ENT be covered in 30, 36 hours? I said, you know, like, we have to look into this that the content loss should not be there. It should be comprehensive yet con concise. You know, that's what our responsibility is over there. So you rightly said that, and that's what we try. Each faculty endeavor is this to make the content very premium, but yet concise. It it should not be really overflowing, and people do not get time to do anything because we don't want bookworm doctors to be very. We want doctors to be joyous and full of positivity, and because patient sees you, he should feel that okay, this doctor can treat me. So that's what we really feel, and that really, really very important. And uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Bagal, for joining us and. Uh, once again, I must congratulate uh, each one of you in the family from uh, every member of the doctor's family. And uh, Ayushi, I would be very, very happy to see your grandfather's picture with your father, with you. And the uh, legacy continues. And uh, I yes, would sir. love to really see that and collaborate that because that would be something really, really to, you know, like cherish actually, you know. Thank you very much, yes. sir. Thank you, Ayushi. Thank you. And we all pray for a wonderful career. Uh, may you touch the sky. May you be a happy, prosperous doctor in the future. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, Bhagavan. Thank you.